CocoBlock have introduced a new feature in Jet Engine 3.3 called the Twig Timber Views for the Jet Engine Listing Grid widget. This feature should significantly reduce the number of wrapper divs compared to the Elemental Loop Grid. To use this feature, ensure that you have Jet Engine 3.3 or higher installed and activated. Then head over to Jet Engine Performance. Then Make sure that you have Timber and Twig Views active. It will ask you to install Timber, which is a plugin. When you install it, then I will also activate the Optimize DOM and I will disable Bricks because we are using Elementor only on this test site. So let's save the tweak. And that's it. So let's head over to a template that I created in my previous video using the Elemental Loop Grid. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. So now let's head over and inspect it using our dev tools. Here we have the template. So let's expand it. You see, so for this, just one single item, we have this amount of divs. But now let's go ahead and see how I recreated it using the Jet Engine Listing Grid. Now let's inspect it as well. So it's a similar template as well as the previous one. Now when we inspect it, you will notice that now this is the entire listing item. And just see just how many items are there. Just four, five, six. And that's it. So there are just seven items plus the image and nothing more. So I've already gone to recreate this in Visual Studio Code so you can see how it is a bit better. So here we have Visual Studio Code. This is the elemental loop for the same design as when we're using the jet engine with the twig views. See? So see how short it is? This one has only 10 lines of code, whereas the elemental loop grid has over 30 lines of code. And that's just for a single loop item. So now imagine where we have like 20 or like 12 loop items. We have to multiply these by 12 and that literally just starts to exponentially increase the number of divs that are available on the loop grid. As the number of divs increase, the performance gets slightly affected. So the less divs you have, the better the performance. So that's why we talk about divception and div soup and all the other things that a lot of people like to talk about. But if you use the jet engine tweak view, you'll be able to literally cut down the number of divs to just this number of items. So now let's see how we can create a new listing using the Twig view. Let's head over back to our dashboard. Now we just go over to Jet Engine Listings. I will create a new item. We'll set the listing source to posts. The post type, we'll use the posts. And then we'll give it a name, so I'll just say a test, maybe test four. We change the listing view to timber or twig, then create listing item. So now when you get to here, you see we have the option to add our HTML and our CSS. If you have used something like unlimited elements to create your widget, you'll be familiar with this uh, timber view. So now that we're here, if you don't have your HTML ready, CrocoBlock, I've already gone ahead to create some presets for us. So if you go over to presets, you see that there are presets already created. You can choose one of them. And they've promised that they will add some more templates as time goes on. So let's just add this template. Say we want to use it, yes. And see, immediately it comes up with the HTML and the CSS. So that's the HTML and the CSS. And this is the preview the live preview of the loop item. So now let's go ahead and save it. Then we'll go ahead and create a new page. Let's add a new page. I'll just call it Twig. So you can easily remember. Then we'll go ahead and drop in a new listing grid item. If we're using Elementor's loop grid, then this is loop grid, but for Jet Engine, it's called Listing Grid. So let's drop it into a new page. Then we'll set, 
said it was test four. And see, immediately we have our loop grid. You can publish it and then view it on the front end. And immediately you already have your working loop grid. And yeah, if you look at it with the inspector again, you notice it also has just enough divs, although there's a lot of divs. Rather than using the proper HTML tags, they're using a lot of divs. But you can always go ahead and change it from the template. But let's say you don't want to use the preset. There's also one nice thing you can also do. Let's go back to our template. Let's close this. And then go back to our jet engine listing. And we'll edit the listing grid. So let's go ahead and delete all of these. To save it and then reload one added benefit is that you can look over the internet like code pen to get some inspiration and you can literally just copy the html and the css and paste it in here and you get your loop item the way you want you don't have to start thinking of how to translate it into elementor or whatever you can just copy from code pen and paste it here you see an example now this is a code pen i created so here we have our two loop items all you have to do now is just go ahead and copy the part that is repeating. So in this case, you see the repeating part is from where it says article. We don't have to copy the li that is showing list item. We don't have to copy that. So just start from the article. We just copy all of that. We head back to our listing grid and just paste it. Then we'll go back and copy the CSS as well. We can ignore all the body and all of these. So let's just start from where the card starts. Copy all of that as well. Then we paste it into our CSS portion. Now when we preview it, so let's save it and then reload the preview. And immediately you see, this is our listing grid all you have to now do is replace all the static content with dynamic content it's very easy jet engine have already added some tags for us so similar to how you're using with elementor with the dynamic tags you can also do that here with the jet engine tags so for the post title we'll just replace it go to dynamic tag post we we'll say we want to have the post title and insert if you save and reload, see now the title has changed. You can go ahead and continue with all the rest of them. So the post terms, we'll edit that. Go over to dynamic tag. We'll say we want the post, not the title this time, we want the terms. We'll just filter the results because it's an array. So say array to list. And then we we'll put the comma on insert. Let's save it and reload. Here we have our post term. And then you can continue like that. For the description, that's the excerpt. We don't have a native excerpt in WordPress, so you use dynamic data. And then we have to use the jet engine dynamic data. Then object field, we say we want to get the post excerpt then we can say automatically generate and then say the custom length so let's say 25 you can add a fallback if you want and then insert it we'll save it again reload see this is the excerpt there's not much content in my excerpt because i just used some demo content so you may not have a proper content here and you can continue like that for the rest of them. So read more about. Just replace this as well. It's supposed to be a post term as well. So dynamic data, post, post title, insert. And the last thing is the image.
can now go ahead to the front end. Let's preview it and see. This is how we have it in the front end. We have our three cards because if you go over back to the editor, see we have set it to three. If we want it to be four, we set it to four, publish. Look at it again on the front end. You see, we have our four cards. And that's as simple as it gets. So you can just easily copy from code pen or wherever you find inspiration and then just simply copy the HTML, the CSS, and there you have it. You have your cards already all added without any issues. And if you preview it on the dev tools, you see this is the code that was created, which is similar to the code pen. And then you don't have any extra div within div within div. You just have exactly as you have put it. So this will lead to improved flexibility, performance, and accessibility. So you can add whatever alt tag or whatever attributes you want, area label or anything without having to worry about where it's added to. Everything will be added the way you've added it. So the only trouble that you have is that you need to know a bit of HTML and CSS to use this feature better. But like I've shown, you can just copy some code from CodePen. You can use one of the presets and just work from there. So the more you use it, the better it is for you. So if you think this is something that will be useful to you, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, share, and follow. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.